Hey guys, it's your boy Dev the Beast here, and welcome back to Plague Inc. I don't quite know why this is the next game I'm playing. I just kind of I woke up this morning and I'm like, you know what? Plague Inc. sounds fun, so I did my usual morning routine, and then here we are. Gonna see if we can finally beat the Nerex Worm. I say that as if I've given it more than one attempt, but yeah, see if we can beat. Hold on. Get more DNA from... No, I'm going to finish my thought. I hate when I do that. I was editing the GTA videos yesterday, and I realized I kept cutting off my own thoughts to make comments. But, yeah. I want to see if we can beat the Nerex Worm, see how far we can go in a short amount of time. Because I don't know how quickly it's going to warm up in my room. But, yeah. We'll see. So, first I'm going to check out what genes I have. More DNA from Orange Bubbles get bonus DNA at the start. Yeah, I think I want the DNA from orange bubbles. Nothing here. Nothing I don't have. Or nothing I have. Sorry. Again, I woke up pretty recently. No cheats, normal mode. Uh Yeah, no no, we'll do TikTok 2 because we lost the first TikTok. Going to go with the same start, I think. Yeah, I've been playing this game online with one of my friends a decent about, and so there's certain places have certain starting bonuses, like, I think you only, or you get like five bonus DNA points if you start in the US, if you start in like Greenland or Sweden, you get like 31 bonus points, I guess, because it's like harder to infect from those areas, so, uh, yeah, it... <clears throat> it's interesting to see the differences in the online mode and uh, just standard single player. It's unfortunate in online it seems like all the diseases are pretty much the same in the way you infect and whatnot. They don't have as much uniqueness as they do in single player. Okay, increasing chance of mutation. No. Nerex worms produce eggs. And then... No, yeah, we'll go for the locomotion, because that does air and water. So I think we want that. And then just spread around the world. Find the chair. Begins to spread. We will save up for air travel first. And then we should also get heat resistance. It is an arid country, but I don't know if I can infect that specific type yet because I know like I don't know in online or in multiplayer there was an, a number of differences like you could increase dust transmissions and whatnot okay so we definitely want air 3 right now then but yeah you could increase like dust and droplets to affect arid and uh, humid countries which I mean I think some diseases in single player might have that but not all all right let's hope that our ooh yep we're starting to spread I was gonna say let's hope our Nurax worm can get the job done today and then it seems like I'm gonna be going to take a bit of a break after this hopeful win uh although again it shouldn't be more than just a couple seconds of a clip between the end of this and the start of the next virus for you guys but yeah i seems like i'm gonna be going soon to go do or to go get breakfast okay uh Heat res no, we want drug resistance first. Oh yeah, Trojan Plains. I'm an idiot. I forgot all about that. But we're apparently getting the job done. In Saudi Arabia, at least. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, we, we... Wow. We are really going kind of crazy here. 
and then this is hardening we want that 16 for the next set of hardening and then after i get that i'll go for water travel Ah, oh, saudi arabia shut down i think it's a bit too late for that okay 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 wow getting three per those red bubbles and i think we want to go the total total neural takeover route instead of the uh just killing route because that seems like a fun way to play this oh something links up there did not know that oh my the united states is just getting hit hard right now water three Oh, uh, and then here we go. Well, this is other motive of transport, transport, not transport. Why am I trying to say transportation? Another motive of infection. So yeah. Uh, oh my god, I am hitting the world hard. Okay, we can start mutating a bit. Uh, so that's the, the, okay. Yeah, that upgrade is good for when I start killing. This is what I want to go for. So then we can have it mutate. Uh, so 15 points for that. I was almost just not paying attention. And then they're starting to lead a cure effort. Wow, I had enough for two. Okay, so then... I probably shouldn't actually be doing that just yet. So, am I just going to be boned? Or are you... One million non-infected. And none of those are... A small fraction of those are in Greenland. Adoration. Yeah, sure. We'll keep that. Come on. I just need nine DNA points. And I think I'm fine. Actually, Iceland is holding out an insane amount right now but the cure does not look like it's going up very fast okay who else is not infected i'm not really good at reading this but yeah it's like all of greenland and then iceland is just holding out those are the only healthy places left Come on. Three more points. Bro, who is dying? That's not caused by me. Why is everyone dying? Or is it just considering them dead? Psychosis. Don't be some lethal stuff, please. Okay, better accommodate the worm. Yeah, we'll, we'll go with that. And then Trojan Plane... Go, my child. Spread. Oh my god, it already hit him hard. I'm trying to click on a place I'm already clicked on. Uh, almost 500 infected. What do I need for cold 2? Because I think that's what's holding me off. 16. And... We'll send that here. Because only one person has gotten infected in the time that we've been here. And that just boosted up to a thousand. It's still gonna take time. I'm gonna need to wait, but uh, because until more people get infected, it's just gonna be a slow process. This don't cost any DNA, right? Iceland bombs infected cities. Oh no, bro. Oh, they actually have really reduced their infected amount. They've like diminished it by ninety percent. What the? Y'all crackheads. Alright, I think I'll... Well, first off, get that. Because at this rate, I don't think here is going to be... Oh, yeah, look at that. That's huge. Greenland going bye-bye. Now it's just Iceland we're waiting on. Perceptive shift. You... Fine. Fine. At this rate, the cure is not going up enough for me to worry. Well, first death related to this thing, even though I have just a pubic hair of lethality. Uh, 
Worship my worm. That sounds weird. You're not holding out. You're 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 losing. I'm not letting you win. 69% of the cure and we win? That's a good way to end this, I think. Uh, let's just send one last plane over there. Can never be too sure. No healthy people left in the world. Is that the end, or are you actually going to make me kill? Nope, we enslave them. That... Yeah. Humans aren't the top of the world anymore in this game. Assuming direct control and then the other one. I think it was enslave humanity, which is what I did. Okay. We are back. Parasite unlocked. It also unlocked a gene, I think. I don't know. Yeah. Zero file. Okay. We'll go orange bubble bonus. Down here, nothing. Still have only Terrasite here. Zero file. Bonus in arid climates. I am damn happy I got that then. Given how much I love Saudi Arabia. Or starting in Saudi Arabia. That's gonna be a good bonus. Hell yeah! And then ionized helix. Bonus DNA when devolving. Okay. What is this parasite gonna be? Uh, hmm. Clout. Clout is a good parasite to have. We'll see if clout takes down the world. I'm so funny, guys. Begins in Saudi Arabia. Parasite. Parasitic lifestyle prevents players from getting DNA when infect or prevents the player getting DNA bonuses or points by infecting people. DNA bubbles are the best way to get points. Mind the chair, bro. I swear, if I get anywhere, then one of my fucking known catchphrases is just gonna be mind the chair because I have this goofy ass squeaky chair. A bank crisis. Okay, bank reported catastrophic losses due to a technical error in the RNG. Bro, what? Mind the chair. <clears throat> yes, I know how to play the game. Okay. Transmission looks pretty well the same. Okay, what's this gonna do? More in tune with host, less likely to be noticed. That sounds like it'll be good, especially because we already have severity starting off, so... We'll do that, and then, oh, sorry, I'm messing with my mic. Do that, and then we'll go for a transmission soon. It begins to spread, and this is why we start in Saudi Arabia. Oh my god. Well, we definitely have enough for some things. Oh, it increases infectivity as well. Nice. This feels kind of like... Or... Since it's messing with the brain again, it kind of feels like the Nurax worm we just beat. I'm a little nervous going a bit too much more forward, because I know in the past I was never able to beat, like, the bioweapon and stuff, so... I'll definitely give it a shot and try and push for beating it, but... I... May struggle on that, so don't be surprised if I do. Yeah, Greenland's finally taken a toll. And then Iceland. Yeah, okay. So now I just need to save up the points to make this lethal. Which I would rather not do until I have at least 60 points I think I need. Although I could devolve stuff once everyone's infected, but I'd rather not. So... I guess I will cut back when everyone's infected and I can go f with lethality. Alright, yeah. I think I will cut back right now. Or like, well, you would have already seen the cut back. Okay, that apparently leads to more lethality. I don't know. Where's total organ failure? Did I just get that? Yeah, okay. I could go with coma, 
Ah, uh, this side actually has a couple good ones. Whatever. I, I'll go with what I'm going for. And then, yeah. Oh my god, my PC fan is going crazy right now. Okay, yeah. They've detected it. Makes sense. Since lethality is just spiked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't matter if you shut down. I'm already in the world. Brazil leading cure effort. They are really leading the cure effort. Oh my. Okay, well, I'm getting enough points. Ooh, necrosis. That was 33, I think. Yes, we do all fall down. Good job, Song, for recognizing that. Okay. And then another 30 for hemorrhage shock, unless it just mutates itself, which I doubt. But either way, the world's dropping. It's GG's. Yes, now is the time to mutate symptoms on your own. And then, just to play it safe, I might do a reshuffle and stuff. But I mean, there's no shot that they cure right now. But I'll reshuffle just to lower that number. Oh my. Yeah, that dropped down by 10%. That's nice. Alright. And victory is mine. I'm so good. Slow, subtle, and extremely complex. Pathogen hidden inside the brain. Darwinist. Insert that. Darwinist. Increase the chance of mutation. Oh... Uh... I would, but I don't know if I get to refund points. I think I, it, I'm i going to assume it'll cost points to devolve. And so I wouldn't want that, but that would be free points. If so, okay. I'm just going to name it dot 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 because I can't be bothered to think of a funny name for this. And I have nothing on the top of my head right now. I know a lot of people like to play on three times speed, but right now two times speed is a bit of a comfortable pace. Okay, let's see what we got going on. Standard transmission symptoms, and then what would this be? Complex tasks become harder. So that would probably negate the cure a bit. So I think we would want to get that on uh, to avoid their cure progress. I don't know. That's just my thought process with that. Okay, hold on, wait. Transmission, uh, no. Okay. Hot climates and chance of mutation. Poor regions and mutation. Okay, these give mutation chances. Yeah, they give mutation chances. That's something to keep in mind, I guess. I could see that being pretty helpful in some situations, but I could also see, see that being problematic in others. So, we'll just see. Gonna go with the same infection strategy, because it hasn't really failed me before. Oh my god, the cure is going up so fast. I need you to start taking people out, please. Complex tasks are supposed to be hard. Can I get the points for taking people out, please? Otherwise, I'm going to lose. Yeah, mutate symptoms. I don't care. Oh, no, bro. How much do I need for a reshuffle? Because that's at this 27. I don't need these anymore. Because this is just infectivity. Is this infectivity? Yeah, infective bonuses, infective bonuses. We'll go for a reshuffle and hope that that's enough to stall until enough bodies hit the floor. Okay. Uh, go for that, because that's a decent bump. Okay. That got really scary, but I think we'll pull through. Okay, yeah, I know. I'm getting enough points at this rate. And with Necrosis, it'll be GG's. 
Although I probably should play it safe and get a reshuffle. No, come on. You were supposed to give me a third point. There you go. Kazakhstan and Anarchy. Rest in peace. Alright, the cure has slowed down it supremely since there's not many people in the world yet. I cure device? No. You don't cure shit. How much for the next reshuffle? 32? Fine. I think I can wait. Okay, well, I don't. I can wait for the reshuffle. You can wait for the cure. Because we're not really making progress towards it either. Nuclear explosion in Italy. Cause unknown, but location suggests failure and sabotage of nuclear power plant containment systems. Bruh. Necroa virus and aerocyte. Ooh, zombie virus. Let's get it. And then nanovirus, bioweapon, bio simian flu, and uh, shadow vi shadow plague. I thought it was going to be virus. Whatever, huh? Did those four first episode? These four and then one, two. Okay, so yeah, I think I'll do the necroa virus. I can't recall if I beat it or not in the past. But yeah, I think I'll do the Necroa virus and then call it here. And then do four more, or the last four viruses or disease types in the next episode. And then, yeah, maybe we can call it a series at that. Increased chance of your plague mutating. Uh, mm. I'm going to hold off on that. Okay, chance of plague spreading by air or land. We want air travel. I think. Okay. Arid climate bonus. Nothing here. Oh, because these are specific. Gene specific. Or er, virus specific. Disease specific. Whatever. Okay. Uh. I don't know what to call. You know what? I'll just. Because my friends mentioned this red dead redemption thing undead nightmare so we'll just call it the undead nightmare why not since it will be a nightmare bring back the dead oh yeah funky music hold on i'm nothing important on my phone never mind i don't need to worry uh necrovirus detected uh extreme regenerative abilities combined with aggressive metabolic demands but most of its genetic structure is a mystery. This is gonna be fine. Okay, let me double check everything. Yeah, we already start off differently. Segmented genome, increased likelihood of viable mutation during transmission. We don't want that right now, I think. Blood and saliva. And then mutation chance make and Increases infectivity, mutation chance, and makes cross-species infection possible. Increases future research speed. Now, I think we want uh, saliva or blood infection. Symptoms are very different. Inflammation of the submandibular gland increases saliva production. Inability to sleep causes irritation and tiredness. And then heat, cold, drug resistance. And then this entire side of the board, I believe, is zombie bonuses once we get zombies. So, we'll save up for... Uh, yeah, we'll just do saliva. And then... Gastrointestinal... Intestinal expansion replicate the stomach and intestine increasing infection through feces and vomit lovely now i think we'll go blood next just see what's up and see what the combined bonus is danish mafia becoming too powerful oh man that reminds me it's been a while since i've had a danish I don't know why I thought of that. Increasing infection through bodily fluids. Mm -mm -mm. 
feels like no matter how much I blow my nose, I just still have something in there right now. How much is that actually though? The ooh air bonus. Okay, so save up nine for the combined bonus, the bodily fluid things, and then I'll go air travel. And then I assume if I get this, I might lead to water travel. So nine for air one, and then we'll see how we're doing. Get air two at 14. I don't know how this is going to go. We'll see. We'll see. Disease. I don't know. What? Don't, I don't know what I'm looking at right now or trying to read or whatnot. New aid country, so I'm going to need drug resistance soon. Okay. Then I will get air too, and then I might go for drug resistance. Might. Eh. Nah, I'll just increase the hell out of infectivity like I've been. And then hope that that's enough. It, oh my, it. <laughs> Click on the bubbles. Bro, this thing it really did just spread. I was going to say, it spreads and then like 5 million planes fly around. Okay, yeah, that does lead to water. Thought so. Okay, saving up 11 points for the water 2, or water 1. Don't know why I thought water 2. 18 for water 2. Festival of Love. More infection. I need 18 for the next thing. Okay. We should have 18 now. We barely have 18. Okay. Drug resistance at 9. And then I think I might do the one symptom for increased saliva mutation. Maybe. Again, we'll see. Oh my god. Freaking Algeria just got dominated by this thing. Genetic hardening? Is that what that is? Yeah. And then 21 for drug 2. Yeah, I think we'll save up for that. Hyper salivation. Did... Lack of hygiene. Okay. But that just... I don't think that increased severity, at least not much. Or at least not by much. But hey, it mutated what I wanted it to. And it's been detected. Okay. No, you don't need to work on a cure. It's fine. Okay. Early analysis has identified cellular. Okay. They think it could cause tumors. So they're going to want to take action on it. Okay. Gonna get genetic hardening ASAP and then cold bonuses and then we might enable it to mutate more frequently on its own. Okay, although not very dangerous, warn that a more deadly strain could appear. Where have we seen that before? No, uh Okay. Can no, only one form of genetic hardening? Fine. How much do I need for it? Oh my god, twenty seven? Okay, fine. I think the way this works is like at some point. This thing is gonna get cured, but by that point you start getting zombies, or at least that's the hope. And then at that point, you're just trying to kill the world with zombies. We'll see, we'll see. But I will try and enable it to mutate soon. Oh, yeah, yeah. Can I save up the 27 to get it to mutate? And can the cure stop going up so fast? Because if not, then I might have played my cards wrong. Come on. And it's going to cost to default. Yeah, it is. So what? Might need 27. I'm at 19. 
Kira is making some unfortunate progress. Because I'd rather not lose too much of what I have going on. Like, because if it does work the way I think it does, yeah, mutate symptoms, go for it. Then I expect to lose probably about half of the people I have infected. It really depends on how much I can, how much I can kill before they can cure. I actually hold on. That's just gonna be cheaper. So. No, I needed to go down. What am I doing? Whatever. Mild lethality. Fine. Execute infected people? Bro. Chill, you don't even know they're gonna become zombies. Oh no. Yeah, the cure. No. I played my cards wrong. I have played my cards wrong. <sighs> Restart. That's painful. Undead Nightmare 2. The DLC that never came. So I think then we'll worry about symptoms sooner. I think I've already fucked up. Thank you. Reanimation? Okay. We have gotten to reanimation. I just decided not to get water too and just hold off. I got bone because I had to, as you might see, I had to devolve hyper salvation. I didn't have to, but I chose to. Okay, reanimating the dead. And now we swap from infection to zombies. Oh my. I just got plus eight points for something. Okay, enhanced motor control or sensory integration. Enhanced sight and hearing increases severity. This increases severity, especially in urban areas. Severity. Yeah, at this rate, I think we want increased severity. Oh yeah, and then abilities. We should check that out now. Okay, horde instinct. Autolytic delay, slowing decom decomposition, and then effectively reanimate some of the dead. That's an active ability, though. I don't think this is an active ability, so I think we want it. Greenland starts working on a cure. Turning people into zombies. Excellent, excellent. Now we actually get to play. Oh. Yeah, huh, Zcom. I forgot about them. Okay, most of the people I have left in the world are turning. Er, most of my infected victims are becoming zombies. So we'll do that and then get their strength up. And then I might get Horde Instinct and send them off somewhere. I don't know if I have to fight the Kier. If I do, then that's going to be rough. Uh, you know what? I'll try and play it safe and fight the cure. Because it might not be a worthwhile investment. I might just be wasting my points, but... I don't know. I could look it up, but you know what? I'll just play, and if I get fucked, then I'll neuter myself and try again. Uh, give zombies combat advantage... Yeah, we want them to have combat advantage, especially if we're going against Zcom now. Oh my god. Taking on the world. Okay, I want to get the Horde Instinct so then I can send them off elsewhere. Mainly like Greenland. What is this? Increase the size. Yeah, sure. And then we'll send zombies from here to here. And then... I need to see if the cure bones my zombies or just my infected. Actually, it doesn't seem like it matters right now. What the hell? We're taking on the world, boys and girls. We are taking on the world. 
Get zombies. Okay, severity and combat advantage. We'll go for that next then. Okay, it's stuff seems like it's going all right right now. I think. We'll try and avoid the places that are Zcom right now. Insect population going crazy. So if we increase the mosquito transmission, then that would be good. But we don't need that right now. Okay, severity and combat advantage. Which we do want combat advantage right now. Send a horde of zombies over to Canada. To increase infectivity. And then, does this cost any DNA points? Because typically these things cost DNA points. Yeah, it does. I think the more DNA points... I okay, yeah, they are fending off in Morocco like crazy. So the last of the places we'll go is... Uh, the last of the places we'll go are the Zcom places. Which is spreading, which is not good, but... It seems like it doesn't matter right now. My zombies are taking out the facilities, I think. Eventually. Horrific slaughter in Russia. Oh, uh, yeah, apparently. I want to see if the zombies can actually take out all the Zcom Corp in Iceland. No, it seems like they're getting slowed. Oh, no, bro. They're getting severely out overpowered right now. Zcom in Italy down. Excellent work, excellent work. Oh, um, yeah, my zombies are getting boned there. Okay, what is... Okay, reanimate some of the dead. We do want that, actually. Five thousand reanimated. Wow. I don't think that'll be enough right now, though. As for Russia, yeah, no. I think it's clapped. There's too many zombies for them to hold off, I hope. And I'm saying I hope because I'd see the death toll rising faster than other stuff. Yeah, they are holding off well against the last little bit. Uh, hmm. Where do we send this? Nah, undo that for now. Let me check. Yeah, no zombies. Yeah, so it's, at this rate, I think it's just Zcom holding out against us. So, I think I hold my points and then try and slowly take out Zcom in certain places. Oh, I just realized I'm going to need to reanimate zombies soon or else it's just GG's. Okay, send send them all off over to Finland. Try and take on Finland. Hope that it works out. I uh, okay. It seems like that might have been a worthwhile investment of points, at least currently. Baltic states is slowly getting taken out. I think. If I resurrect some zombies in Iceland, I might be okay. But yeah, Finland is doing some good work right now for me. Armed gangs raid Zcom in Iceland. Losses sustained. Damage Zcom ability to respond to zombie threat. So then, if I can get enough points to... Okay, decide a zombie threat in Ukraine is minimal. And Zcom project globally. Where is Ukraine? Ukraine should be right here, yeah. The, okay, so they're about to move out of there because they aren't worried since I don't have anything going on. So I think I strike Iceland because the Zcom threat... Okay, well, it seems like it's just been picked up. Uh, okay, well, I don't have enough points right now, so I think I'm just going to get boned. I hope... Oh, something can happen. Oh, yes. I have no... No, I should have resurrected some zombies, but... Okay. Okay, and now... Should be... Come on, come on. Too late. 
And then 24 still for mutation chance. So then we start making some zombies. And then increase the mutation chance. And then, yeah, we'll increase transmission, I guess. Saudi Arabia shuts down. Water transmission. Board. And then... Send a horde from here to Greenland, because screw Greenland. No, nah, Greenland's alright. It... No, nah, I think it just dropped off some zombies elsewhere. Salvation mutated. Places are shutting down. Makes sense. Increase the survivability of the zombies. Zcom starting up. And then, yet again, increase survivability of zombies and then get temperature resistances. Psychosis, nice. I actually might also just try and fight the cure a bit, see how many zombies we can rack up in the world. Okay. Yeah, you're curing it, I get it, I get it. How much did I? It was really nine for that? Okay. Well, for the reshuffle. Rotting zombie on beach. Cool. Spread to the US. That was only seven. Coma. Wow. Yeah, this thing's just trying to turn itself to be a lethal beast. Oh, no, bro. Get a reshuffle. Oh, I didn't even know I could use the numbers for that. Alright. Yeah, I don't really want lethality right now. Uh, Horde 2 is going to be... S no, actually. Okay, travel speed increase, and then 12 for... Uh, uh, hella zombies. Zcom and Balkan states grow stronger. Alright, yeah, I think I'll be sufficient with my current amount of zombies. Maybe. We'll see. But now I'm relying just on the zombies, so I don't need the heat and cold. Alright, we'll go there with them. I think these zombie pop-ups here are just places that get full of zombies. Okay, increases ocean travel speed, does that. I didn't even see what that did, I just bought it. Movement speed. Alright. Can we get them all the way to Greenland? We'll see. Infection spreads to Morocco. We can get them to Greenland. Heat wave in Morocco. I hope that- Oh my god! Oh no, bro! We just nuked Greenland! What the hell? Okay, millions in the horde. We will benefit off that immensely. How many do we have here? Enough. We have enough. We really have enough. Send another horde in. 13 million zombies sent there. No, 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 no. Get the Zcom out of there. At this rate, I think... Okay. Yeah, the zombies don't have the strength to fight Zcom on their own right now. So, we will invest in that. Soon, I hope. We're not gonna win. We've lost again. Zcom just barely, well, I mean, I say barely. Canada's only taken eight losses to this thing. So it's not just barely. China has apparently fully held out. Not fully. Just common, or very easy. I don't know. Uh, Alright, well. 
I've gotten severely fucked like three or four times with the zombie virus. Otherwise, it's been fairly successful. I think I will try that again soon. But I don't... Unless it's meant to be like a two-parter thing, I don't really like uploading the same game twice in a row. So I might upload something else in between this. Maybe something like Minecraft, maybe another game. Again, if you check out the first Play Gink video in the outro, I have a list of games that I'd be interested in playing. And so, if you want to check out any of those or see me play any of those, feel free to put them in the comments of any of my recent videos. Or just suggest any other game you might be interested in that I may or may not know about. Because... Yeah, you never know. There might be a game that I try out that I just fall in love with that I never heard about until you mentioned it. So, again, if you have any suggestions of what you'd like to see, leave that in the comments down below. And, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing. It would really go a long way, but even if you just enjoyed this video, I've done my job. So, I hope to catch you in the next video, and, yeah, I'll see ya. Peace.